We've all seen the videos. The very fact that you are here suggests that you have searched YouTube for digital potentiometers. And what a great way to demonstrate their functionality, but to show an LED getting dimmer and brighter using a digital potentiometer. But this video will be different. We're going to hook our chip up to an oscillator and change the pitch of the tone. Stick around and I'm going to show you how it's done. breadboard here. On our breadboard we have two IC chips. We'll be talking about those in more detail later. I've connected this little uh, breakout board, which is an audio amplifier, to this chip over here. It's also connected to this speaker and it's activated with a push button over here. It'll turn the audio on and off. We'll be making a lot of noise. This chip over here is connected to our Arduino. We're using the SPI bus, the SPI bus, to communicate with this chip. The first of our two chips is an LM567C tone decoder. Here's a schematic of how I have it wired in another project. I've set it up on my breadboard almost the same way. The only difference is I'm only using one LED and not two. The purpose of this decoder is to detect the presence of a tone that matches a specific frequency. To do this, the chip contains an internal oscillator. The frequency of that oscillator is determined by a resistor and a capacitor. This is a typical RC circuit. The chip compares audio coming in on pin 3 with the frequency of the internal oscillator. When it finds a match, pin 8 is taken low. One way to tune the decoder is to sample the frequency of the oscillator. You can do this by tapping into pin 6. You adjust the frequency by changing the setting on R3. R3 is a 10K ohm multi-turn potentiometer. It's a trimmer pot. Here's our schematic built up on a small proto board. This blue rectangular device right here is our variable resistor, our potentiometer. To tune it, you need a special tool like this that goes on the end of the shaft that you can turn. Remember we have 20 turns to go from one end to the other of the potentiometer. The test circuit that I have here on my breadboard is pretty much the same one you saw on the little board. Here you see the LM567C wired up the same as before, but this time instead of having the blue trimmer pot, we've installed a digital potentiometer right here. On the far side of the chip, pins 1, 2, and 3 are communication lines that are linked to our Arduino. We communicate with the chip using the SPI bus. Pin 4 is ground. On the forward side of the chip, pins 5, 6, and 7 represent the potentiometer, with pin 6 in the middle being the wiper, just as we see in the schematic. Pin 8 is 5 volts to power the chip. I've added two simple components to this circuit. One is a decoupling capacitor. And this is a 220 ohm resistor, which allows me to tune my oscillator to lower frequencies. We'll use our Arduino to determine the resistance of our digital potentiometer. I borrowed a demo sketch that sends values to the digital potentiometer that was used to dim and brighten an LED as we saw earlier. The LM567C has an 8-bit register, which means we can send it values between 0 and 255. The sketch I'm running includes two procedures 
one that will sweep the tone up, and one that will sweep the tone down. It's done with this for next loop right here. There's an if-then statement in here that we can take a look at later. The sweep up procedure sends every value from 0 to 255 to our digital potentiometer with a 5 millisecond delay between each one. The sweep down does the opposite, sending 255 all the way down to 0. Here it is. Well, let's make some noise here. I'll turn the audio amplifier on. You can hear the tone go up and down as we cycle through all the values from 0 to 255, and then back down again from 255 to 0. Well, enough of that. So where are we going with all this? Well, you can see we've got our Arduino running over here. The LED is blinking, and it's sweeping up and down all the frequencies. If I turn the amplifier on, you'll hear it. If you look again at the sketch, you'll see that in addition to sending values from 0 to 255 in order to sweep our tones up and do again when we sweep the tones down, that we are actually printing the words sweep up and sweep down on the monitor. Let's open up the monitor and see what this looks like. Remember, the Arduino is running. We just don't have the amplifier turned on. But it tells us when it's sweeping up and it's sweeping down. Now let's take another look at the code. Let's look at this line that says, if not digital read 8. Let's talk about that. I've hooked up the output pin of our tone decoder, which also happens to be pin 8, to the digital pin 8 of our Arduino. You'll recall the pin 8 on our tone decoder goes low when it hears a tone that matches the frequency of our internal oscillator. Well, when we say not, which we do with the exclamation mark, when we say not digital read 8, what we're doing is having Arduino check digital pin 8 and see if it's low. If it is, then we check the value uh, that we just put into our digital potentiometer and see if it's higher than one we've been storing in MyMax. My max is like a high score routine. When we initialized it, clear up here at the top, we set it to zero. So if we hear a tone and that level is higher than zero, we will store whatever that value is in the variable my max. My max will keep getting higher and higher and higher as we sweep until um, we don't hear the tone anymore. It's a high score routine. We're doing exactly the same thing in the sweep down routine. This time we're keeping track of one called my min. We want to know what's the lowest value that we hear that actually decodes a tone. And you'll see that we set my min originally to 255, so we can walk it down to the lowest value. So we have a high score routine and a low score routine. But they only do something if we inject a tone. Now let's take a closer look at our main loop. You'll see here that we are calling sweep up and sweep down only as long as my min is greater than my max. Once it's determined a high score and a low score, it stops sweeping up and down. We've got another little test going on here. When our high score, my max, is greater than our low score, my min, we're ready to do some other things here. We're going to use a Boolean variable called target set. 
we'll switch it from false to true. We just do this so that because we're in a loop here, the following lines are things that we only want to have happen once. So that handles that. Now we'll do some simple math with our high score and our low score. I subtract the two and then divide them in half. Then I take that and I add it to the level. Then we print a few lines on the screen so we can see what's going on. And finally, I write that new level to our digital potentiometer and park it right there so that it will decode the tone that it has heard. You might think of this sketch as a seek and destroy experiment. We inject a tone, we sweep up and down with our oscillator, match that tone, and then park on that frequency so that we can continue to decode the tone. We need a way to inject a tone now into our project, and I found a website that will help me do just that. I can enter the frequency of any tone I want to hear into this box right here. So if I put in 700, you'll hear a 700 hertz tone. I'll click stop. If I put in 1000, you hear a 1000 hertz tone. I can inject that tone into my breadboard using this plug. All I have to do is put it into the speaker jack on my laptop. Well, let's put these pieces together and see what happens. There's one thing I need to draw your attention to, and that's right here on our breadboard. There's a blue LED. Whatever our tone decoder chip, here's a tone that matches its internal frequency. That blue LED is going to come on. As it sweeps up and down, trying to find the high and low points, you'll see this blue LED go on and off. When it locks on the frequency, it'll come on and stay on. One more thing. I'm not going to record the system audio on the computer, so you'll hear what I hear. When we turn the tone on, you'll hear it through my microphone. When I plug the breadboard in to the jack on the laptop, you'll hear the sound mute. We'll start by turning the tone back on. You can hear it, but the breadboard can't. The tone decoder is not hooked up to the laptop. Let's open the monitor. We know it's sweeping up and down. I will now plug in the jack. Watch for the blue light. There, it's locked in. If I reach over now and turn our speaker on, you'll hear that it's no longer sweeping. You'll actually hear our 1000 Hertz tone. That tone is being generated by the tone decoder's oscillator. Let's look at the data that's printed on our monitor. You can see here that we've ended up with a target level of 142. We arrived at that because our high score, my max, was 152, and our low score, my min, was 133. 142 is right between the two. Now notice that as I turn the tone on and off with the play and stop buttons on the web page, that the LED on the board goes on and off with the tone. This opens the door for lots of projects that you could do with your Arduino, where you want to use a specific tone to activate something else. You can turn various things on and off by providing the right tone through a tone decoder chip and then processing that code in your Arduino. Let's try a different frequency. We'll turn our tone back on. you see the blue light comes on. I'm going to change the frequency to 700 Hertz. The light goes off. Let's get rid of some of these windows and see what's going on. I'll open the monitor again. That starts Arduino sweeping. It found our tone. And now we have a match again. Let's turn off our tone. 
and look at these new values. This time, it arrived at a target of 98. The highest setting to copy the 700 Hz tone was 104. The lowest was 92. Remember we talked about bandwidth? Let's look how we can demonstrate that here. We've got our web page to generate tones. Let's bring up the image of our board. Get it over here where you can see the LED. Now, if I turn the tone on, the LED lights. I turn the tone off, the LED goes out. We can turn on the tone and change the frequency and watch the LED. I'll show you how we do that. I'll turn the tone on, I'll click over here. Now, with the arrow on my keyboard, I can change the frequency. You can hear the tone go up, but the light is still on. We'll just keep raising it. There. At around 766 hertz, 764, the threshold is right about 760. So that's the high end. Let's go down. There's our 700 again. Now on our way down. Nudge it up, oh, right about 662 is the low end, and 760 was the high end. Let's try one more. I'll change the frequency to 440. Now I'll plug in the speaker, close the monitor and reopen it to reset. It sweeps. This time our target level is quite low. The target level 8 with a maximum of 16 and a minimum of 0. Well, I hope you see that we can have a lot of fun playing with a tone decoder and Arduino. It'll be fun to see what kinds of projects you do. Send us some comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.